Hello, my name is Hector. A couple of my patrons were asking me if it were possible uh, to show how to edit config files in a mod pack. Uh, so this is the Peace of Mind mod pack, and someone was asking, is it possible to turn off the snow in winter? So we're going to have a look, basically, at how to edit config files uh, of mods in a mod pack. Now, if you are using the Twitch launcher, then to get to the mod folder, what you need to do is come up to this gear and then click open folder. Nice and simple. If, however, you are using MultiMC uh, to launch your mod packs, then what you need to do is make sure it's selected and then come here and Minecraft folder is what you'll need. So we're in the peace of mind Minecraft folder and what you'll see is all of this. Now what you want to do is come to the config folder, okay, and you can see there's a lot of different things. Now, I would suggest getting Notepad++. Notepad++ is this program here and it allows you to look at config files and a lot of other different types and it's one of the best, I think. It's very lightweight and it's just better than Notepad on Windows. Notepad might open up with like a lot of weirdness basically it won't format it correctly all the time so i suggest getting notepad plus plus on windows if you're a mac uh, i've heard atom is good but i don't really know but i have heard atom is pretty good and if you're on linux and i imagine you already know a better thing than i could even vaguely uh, suggest to you so there you go so i'm using uh, notepad plus plus and you can see this is what the config uh folder looks like in a peace of mind so there are a lot of different types of things so obviously you need to know the mod the specific mod that you want to edit the file of okay you can see some of them are in folders and some of them are just config files uh, so we need serene seasons and serene seasons is in a folder now it doesn't it, basically the only difference is that in serene seasons if we go and you can see it just contains various config files so that's that's the only re the only difference there so don't worry too much about that now uh you basically i mean at this point i don't really you don't always know how to edit or what you need to edit which like file exactly i'd say we probably need the seasons file because we want to stop it from snowing that's i think a pretty good guess that's how i would play it uh, so that's the thing that you've got to think about when you're editing is what exactly bit, what mod, first of all, and what are you editing so that you can try and find it. Now, if we open this up, there we go. We've got the seasons uh, configuration file in here. I've got it set to a dark, uh, a dark theme just because I prefer that way. Uh, and what you can see here is not, it's not very big and you can see configuration files and this, this might seem scary. It isn't. Now, before you do any kind of changing of things if you're scared at this point back up the config file just make a backup make a copy of it back up the entire config folder if you want uh, whatever you wish but just make a backup and then whatever you do you can't go wrong you cannot go wrong don't worry about it too much um i've never i've never had an issue i change configs all the time i've never had an issue worst comes to worst just change it back to what it was and you should be fine uh, honestly i've never had an issue so don't worry too much now this is quite a small uh, configuration file which is quite nice but if you've got a bigger one one that you have to scroll through, you might want to actually, you know, uh, l not have to read every single line. The way you do that is I'm going to press Control and F, and basically you can see it brings up like a find. Uh, what we want is winter, uh, so f click Find Next. Uh, ah, there it is, and and there's another one there, and that is it. So there's only two instances of winter. That's just an easier way of doing it. Okay. A lot of these configurations, you can see it has default true. So that is like what the default is set to. Now, a specific mod pack might have changed the default. In this instance, they haven't. You can see each one of these is set to true. So, but that's just a little, a little note, just so you're kind of aware. Not everything won't be set to the defaults. Different mod packs will be, you know, will have different settings. A lot of mod packs, though, will probably just play with the normal defaults. Expert packs will be probably maybe a little bit more modified. So what we probably want here is you can see in the weather settings. So each one of these you can see has a like a, a title basically of the thing it 
it modifies the time settings, the weather settings. And you can see here, generate snow and ice during the winter season, default true. Uh, and then here you've got the actual, the actual line. So don't, like it says B colon whatever. That is the basically, this is the line that does it. And you can see this is set to true. So all we would need to do to turn that off, you can see it highlights all the trues now. Just change that to false. Uh, and then make sure you save it. If you don't save it, it won't obviously load up next time. So you can see that's basically, if there's a true or false statement, you just have to write true or false. Just write it in the exact same way. Uh, so no caps and no spaces. Make sure to do that exactly as is. Just write the opposite. Very simple. And you can see here, the duration of a subseason in days range one to that number, and the default is seven. Okay, and you can see there that is seven. So we could change that as long as you pick a number within that range, it will work. So you can you can choose it for things like that, which is great. Starting sub a season for a new world, zero is random, one to three is early to mid late spring. So you can see it starts us off in early spring. That is what that means right there. If you want it to be random, you set that to zero. If you want to start in mid late autumn, then you pick seven to nine. And that's basically how config files work. They're not very hard. You can obviously some of some of the mods that you might look at will be a lot harder. They will be a lot more complicated. But if you're just looking at like one little thing like uh, doing that, it should be fairly simple. Don't be scared to, you know, try a few different things. Maybe a mod in a mod pack isn't running exactly how you want. Maybe it's been changed and you want to change it back. So this is just a nice little way of, you know, play around with it, play around with these things. They're really not to be scared about. Now, the only thing now that we have to do to load this up, basically, you would have to load up the entirety of Minecraft again, okay? And I don't just mean the world coming in and out. I mean the entirety of, you have to load the mod pack again because once you, when you load a mod pack, it basically, it, it takes those config files and it, it kind of sets them from that. You can't just do it in game. You'll have to, reload the entire mod pack and that's basically all there is to it now we are back in peace of mind and there should be there should be a lot less snow as the game progresses so that's basically how you can edit config files in on well for a specific mod in a mod pack obviously different mods will be very different but just remember to if you're worried make a backup and you know just make a change load up the pack, see what happens. And if you don't like it, you can always change it back. But there you go. Hopefully that has given you a little bit of an insight as to how to edit the config files. There's really nothing to be scared about. Uh, hopefully it helped. If it did, liking, commenting, subscribing always helps the channel. Let me know if there's anything else like this that you want to have a look at. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. I've been Hector. This has been how to edit a config file in Minecraft. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.